I don't really want to talk because I don't want to interrupt the the mood and the atmosphere that the developers have painstakingly tried to uh, act upon, and also I didn't want to like run the VS moment. I think it uh, is very applicable to real life. Not not gonna lie. I know. Uh, all of us, we, we do face our ups and downs. Some of us we will relish in the past. Some of us will move on from the past, stay in the present. But those who are those who really want to like work and stuff like that, they they will not just move on from the past. They would not just stay in the present. They would look at the future. Like uh, what I mean is by looking at the future, it's really uh, let's let's take like a black like prime example, right? Uh, what's uh, to me, I think the number one source of regret is not being able to do something that you wanted to do, or no, sorry, not being, not doing that one thing you wanted to do because you were too scared. I think that's like the number one source of regret. I have experienced it multiple times, not gonna lie, and um. When I regret it, right? Yes, I relish in the past. I'll think about, I'll, I'll grieve, you know, something that my past self didn't get to do. Like you, you think to yourself, like if I've done this, I've done that. I think my life would have been totally different. My life could have been for the better. Who knows? Like I used to like think about it, stuff like that. Like I'll get myself stuck in the past for like days. The me now, right? The me now. Yeah, I still grieve over it. I'll still get myself stuck in the past, but give it a few hours and I just move on because I realize I can't be stuck in the past forever. At least be in the present. No, that's the bare minimum you have to be. But of course, to to anyone out there, right? I'm not telling you that you can't stay in the you can't stay in the past for a minute. If you if you just want to think about that life for a minute, go ahead. No one's stopping you, but you are your you yourself are the only ones that will be able to pull yourself out of that that past. Because once you go to that past, right, you you are sort of like endangering yourself into just griefing over something that happened. In the past. So that is really up to you. I don't know why this this got me emotional. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's all because of the, that, that TikTok trend that happened like last month. The teenager look. And then like you, you see like the parents, the grandparents, they lose they use the filter, right? Because they had their son, daughter, grandson, granddaughter introduced them the filter. And then they started crying and shit like that. And made me realize, yeah, there's there's a lot more to life. Yeah, as cringy, as niche, as uh, normalized as it sounds, it really is the case. But no one is going to scold you for being stuck in the past. No one is going to scold you. Because I'm, I'm also one of the person, you know, I, I like to think about the past. I like to think that my life could have been better if I did this, if I did that, if I didn't do this, if I didn't do that. I made a lot of mistakes. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> I'm, I'm still making mistakes, see, and that's really the wonders of life. And as ironic as, as it is, right, let me quote something from Forrest Grump. Life, how do you say, life is like a box of chocolates. You don't know what you're gonna get. Yeah, you're gonna get chocolates, but who knows, you might get almond chocolate, white chocolate, bitter chocolate. Bitter chocolate is the best, honestly speaking, German chocolate. Sit down. Absolutely sit down. Uh, let's, enough about that. I couldn't even sneeze. Okay. I know some of you, some of the viewers here. I know most of you are not VTubers or not really interested in the VTubing thing. And I understand. But uh, uh, this goes out to other people because I know there are other people out there who isn't following my streams, isn't subscribed to my YouTube channel or my TikTok. And they are watching this VOD archive. I know some of them are VTubers. My, that's my assumption. And uh and I've been reading Reddit, not gonna lie. I have seen a lot of these posts and let's just say 
that yeah it could be your seventh eighth ninth i think there was like one ninth there was one post apparently this person applied for the ninth time and one thing to give up i would say as cringe as it sounds right i there's two ways there's two ways this goes out to the other people as well is that um you have two options here technically three if you want to go for the third option first option listen to what your heart says really like do you really want to do this do you want to continue applying secondly just keep doing just keep doing if you have a schedule uh, what apparently is, is it three months every three months you can reapply right do that every three months reapply if you have been doing it for two one two years just keep doing it just keep doing if you know you're improving just keep doing it that's like if you have the self-esteem the first one is more of like you don't really have the self-esteem so you have to like ask yourself do you really want to do this the third option is just quit but if you quit you need to quit knowing you really tried your best you know you can't go any further it's your limit then that's it that's it don't apply you can apply it like maybe half a year later one year later but don't apply for the next one it's that simple because if you quit right you know you're at your limit or you feel like you're at your limit so yeah so yeah sorry sorry for the sorry for the rent i don't know why some something about this quest like got me worked up man <laughs>